A high-speed express train is leaving in 15 minutes. Security guards are scanning everyone's bags and find one of these three bags very suspicious. Can you guess which one? It's the second luggage. This lady has a heavy book among her things, and the title, Dictionary, has the wrong spelling. Maybe it's just a cover to hide something suspicious? The train departs. Unfortunately, this area is full of rocks, so the road is winding a lot. Only one of these routes will lead the train to the final destination. Can you guess which one? Only the third route is correct. Susan is a first-class passenger. She orders a cup of tea. The waiter brings her what she asked for. Suddenly, Susan sees a fly in her cup and gets terrified. The waiter takes her cup and goes to the kitchen. Then, he returns with a fresh cup of tea. But Susan yells, You brought me the same cup of tea! Gross! How did she know? Susan already had added sugar. The tea was sweet when the waiter brought it back. Susan gets bored and takes a walk around the train. She enters a rail car with three passengers only, Xavier, Gerald, and Peter. One of them can't wait to meet his two daughters when the train arrives at the final destination. He promised to take them to the beach. Can you tell which guy it is? It's Gerald. He has three bucket hats on top of his suitcase. These two cute bucket hats still have price tags, so he probably bought them for his daughters as a gift. The train has arrived. Gerald rents a car to go to the mansion in the forest where his family lives. Unfortunately, the road is surrounded by multiple possessed wild animals. Suddenly, a black cat jumps on the windshield and Gerald crashes into a tree. He has to leave the car and walk to the mansion on his feet. Soon, Gerald finds himself at a crossroad. Can you guess which route is more or less safe? A, B, or C? All three routes have animal footprints. The bushes on the first route are moving even though it's not windy. This means that some animals are hiding behind them. And there's a pair of eyes shining in the dark on the third route. So Gerald will have to move quickly through the second route. It begins to rain heavily. Gerald finds a fancy mansion along the way. The owner invites him inside the house to hide from the rain and grab some snacks. Gerald agrees and finds himself at a glamorous party. There are three models eating in the buffet. One of them is broke. Can you guess who? The second lady. Take a look at her bag. She hides some food for later. Gerald walks around the mansion and sees two roommates. One of them is a thief. Can you guess who? It's not the first maid. There's an open safe with diamonds and cash in front of her, but she doesn't do anything. Meanwhile, the second lady has already hidden a diamond in her bucket, so she's the thief. Gerald eats a snack and falls asleep. He wakes up in an old basement. The mansion owner locked him up. Gerald finds a sheet of paper on the floor. It says, I'll give you a chance to get out of here. The key to the door is inside this closed bag. Try to get it. Gerald tries to rip up the bag, but the fabric is too tough. He tries to tear it using his teeth, but he almost breaks a tooth. How can Gerald get the key? He should break a jar. 
and use a fragment of glass to cut the bag and get the key. Gerald opens the door and enters a storage room. There are three doors leading to freedom. A forest full of hungry predatory animals is hiding behind the first door. The second route is filled with toxic gas that's impossible to stand for even a second. And there's a fire behind the third door. Which way is more or less safe? Gerald should choose the third door. There are bottles of water in the room, and the fire is rather small. Gerald can easily put it out. Finally, Gerald is outdoors. But there are three hidden dangers in this garden. Can you find them? There's a crocodile in these rose bushes. A laser beam alarm system is on and a scorpion is hiding in a tree. Gerald runs away through the forest, but something's wrong with this place. Can you spot three odd details? Take a look at this spruce. Lemons don't grow on this type of tree. This beehive is inhabited by butterflies. Also, there are two moons in the sky. Gerald checks into the local motel to get some rest. He leaves his golden watch on the bed and goes to buy some coffee. In an hour, he returns to the room and sees that someone had stolen the watch. Gerald interrogates three suspects. The maid says, I only entered your room once today to clean it before check-in. I have a master key, but it's always with me in my pocket. The woodworker says, I entered your room an hour ago to fix a creaky bed. Everything's fine now. And Gerald's neighbor says, I was feeling sick. That's why I went to bed earlier. So I didn't hear anything weird. Who stole Gerald's watch? Nobody. The golden watch fell under the bed. See? The next morning, Gerald goes to the motel's lobby to check out. He finds the manager, Lauren, lying unconscious on the floor. Gerald calls the police. They figure out that someone has put Lauren to sleep using an unknown substance and took all the cash. The police officer questioned three people who last saw Lauren conscious and healthy. Rose, Violet, and Lily. After checking out the crime scene, the officer arrests one of the witnesses. Can you guess who and why? Lily, take a look at her hair extensions. They're not distributed evenly. That's because Lauren pulled out one strand and squeezed it in her fist. She wanted to leave a clue leading to the criminal. Gerald has just come back from his long trip. He's trying to open a suitcase, but realizes that he has forgotten the four-number code. Luckily, Gerald left a note that can help him remember the code. Can you figure out the code? That would be too easy to use the given numbers as they are. To crack this mystery, we should mind the numbers of letters in each given number. So, the correct code is 5364. Finally, Gerald can keep his promise and takes his daughters to the beach. He also takes some food for a picnic. Can you guess the name of this food by emojis? Sandwich. Gerald and his wife Anna have a lot in common. Daughters, careers, and a big house. They do everything together. One day, Anna comes home really late. She's tired, but happy. Gerald gets jealous and yells at her. Anna flames out too. I was working all evening. Gerald says, Sorry, Anna, I don't believe you. It looks like you're dating someone else. Anna refuses to talk and goes to bed alone. Meanwhile, 
Gerald waits for Anna to fall asleep and checks her purse. He finds nail polish, a wallet, a pack of gum, lipstick, and some keys. Now Gerald is completely sure Anna was seeing someone else. How did he know? The keys are definitely not from their house. The next morning, Gerald receives an email from his boss. Can you guess the meaning of this message? It means, great job, you got it. This type of code is called a Caesar box because Julius Caesar was known as the first one to write codes this way. To decipher the message, simply divide the code into four groups of four, then rearrange them vertically. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.